वेलकम टू द डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ कॉलेज सोशल नेटवर्क वेब प्रोजेक्ट सोशल मीडिया साइट्स अलाउ यूजर्स टू कम्युनिकेट विद पीपल शेयर दे आइडियाज एक्टिविटीज इवेंट्स विद इन देयर इंडिविजुअल नेटवर्क्स दिस वेबसाइट आल्सो प्रोवाइड्स अ फीचर ऑफ राइटिंग एंड पोस्टिंग ऑफ अ पोस्ट और एनी इवेंट ऑल एट द वन प्लेस एडमिन हैव अथॉरिटी टू ऐड और डिलीट स्टूडेंट फैकल्टी टू द सिस्टम वंस द स्टूडेंट लॉग्ड इन इनटू द सिस्टम दे कैन राइट एंड पोस्ट एनी मैसेजेस ऑन वेरियस टॉपिक्स ऑफ देयर चॉइस Also, they can chat with the other students. Student can also upload images with their post. All the student registration will be approved or rejected by the admin, as well as the post will be kept pending until higher authority approves or rejects each and every post. Placement officer can create a list of students by specifying the department and criteria. List will includes the basic detail, marks and backlogs. placement officer can send notification regarding placements campus which are visible to students officer can add post and it will be sent for approval to higher authority this system is developed using php as a front end and mysql as a back end let's see how the system work this is the home page for the college social networking we will go with the student login first we have to enter username and password so Username and password. So this is a student panel where student can view their profile details, update their personal details, and after clicking update, the details will send it to the admin for the approval. student can post their status from here student can post messages or photo on their timeline from here after submitting post the message will be sent to the admin for approval the approval message visible on the student timeline with the date and time and the message content student can chat with other students from here student can view exam date by selecting stream and same so the exam date will be displayed here after filling the credentials exam time table student can view their exam time table with this stream and same so we will select it and same one so the exam time table displayed here student can view the notifications with date and timing on clicking the overview of notification is displayed here student can view the selected students from campus with the company details designation number of students who get selected and the selection date so this is all for the student log out Now we'll see the admin part. We have to log in with the username and password. Log in. Admin have options like faculty, student registration, student view, approve update. Admin can add faculty members with the details like faculty ID, profile image of the faculty, name of faculty, department. designation email id mobile number address and password and after submitting the details of faculty get added in the database manage faculty admin have search option to find the faculty member with name so we we'll type one and search so details get displayed here admin can edit with edit option the details of the faculty members and after submitting the details get updated in database delete faculty the delete faculty option admin can delete the faculty details now we see the student registration part admin can add new student to the system with the personal details like name date of birth email id mobile number image of that student address 
and the educational details like percentage, department, history and current backlogs, username and password and after submitting all the details get added in a database. Admin can view the student details with the name, department, email id, mobile number, address and after approving the student can login into the system. Delete student. Admin have authority to delete student with the delete option. So this is all for the admin part. Log out. Now we see the faculty part. Faculty. Faculty can log in as a placement officer or an examination cell officer. So we log in as a placement officer first. We have to enter username and password. And log in. So placement officer have options like send notification, post selection, view profile and add post. So placement officer can post details of campus interviews or any notification from uh, here and after sending the notification will be displayed on the student portal post selection. With this option placement officer can post the selected student details in a campus with the company name, designations and the number of student get selected and after submitting the details get added in a database and displayed to the student view profile the profile details of the faculty get displayed here with the name address email id mobile number department and designation faculty member can add post here with the message content and the image content and after approval of admin or hod the message will be displayed on type 9 with the name and details of the mass line of our faculty with the date and time this is all for the placement officer log off now we will log in as the examination cell officer password examination cell officer have uh, options like enter mark, update mark, exam timetable, exam date and create list enter marks faculty member can add student marks with the student id stream semester name and the subject name and marks after submitting the marks get added in a database and displayed to the student update marks faculty member can search the student by name and update their marks with update option and after clicking update marks the marks will be updated for that respective student exam timetable faculty member can upload the timetable of the exam by selecting the stream and the save and after submitting the exam timetable get uploaded on the timeline of a student exam date faculty member can add exam date with the stream and same by entering date and after submitting the date get added in a database and uh, visible to the student also create list placement officer can create list with the department and criteria so we will select one department and IP we will select IT and criteria is 60 and create list so the list for IT is created here so this is all for the examination cell officer log out now we see the HOD part we have to log in the system with username and password and login HOD have authority to approve the post posted by the student the details of the students get displayed here with the name the message entered who posted and date and time after approval of HOD the message will be displayed on timeline of the student so this is for the HOD part 
and this is how all the system works.